The spleen, in Chinese medicine, is one of the most important organ because it's like we call them Mother Earth. So it's where the nutrition, our body, where they absorb nutrients and digestion, help the body get you know, get good things from food, and then change them into your body's own nutrients. So, so the spleen, so we call them in Chinese medicine, is earth sort of an element. It's like Mother Earth to the body, and uh, the spleen often working together with stomach. So in other words, stomach it belongs to you know, controlled by spleen, or is a part of the spleen. Also, in Chinese medicine, with spleen, also another organ is control the blood. Uh, for example, if some people have a bleeding from the from the tooth or gum bleeding without any reason, always so there's something we would say is wrong with the blood not to be controlled by spleen. Or if somebody have internal bleeding, for example, the, the blood come out from the you know stomach or intestines, that's also can be a problem with spleen. Or even the woman have a too much heavy period. Our body flow in the water, especially filtering through the water, very much connected with the kidney, as everybody knows. But actually when the water, you know, has been filtered through the kidney, so the good water will go back to the body, recycle. How to recycle? And in Chinese medicine, the spleen start to take its good water or good nourishment back to the circulation system again. Try to move them upwards to the body or to, you know, everywhere, extremities of the body or to the head, to everything. Without this movement, even though you have a good water in the body, they can be all stuck in the system. So the, if the water is not moving, so that again also can be called dampness. That's why the spleen and in Chinese medicine, you know, have a three, those few major functions for digestive system, for the sort of a, a water movement, you know, and also for, we call it governing the blood, controlled blood flowing.